Well, this is uh, coming to the last lap of this screening, and it's very, it's been a, 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 a continuous exercise in the last uh, five days. And then here he comes to check the, the usual parliamentary uh, rituals of bowing to the maze. Engineer Saleh Maman from Tarabu State currently works at the Agricultural Extension and Rural Development at Madu Bello University in Zaria. He is an expert and research fellow in agricultural plant science, food science, and animal science. He is the first nominee to face the Senate today in, in this last lap of the screening of ministerial nominees. Distinguished uh, colleagues, in continuation with our screening exercise of the ministerial nominees, this morning we'll start with the engineer Saleh Maman, the nominee from Taraba State. Mr. Nomini, on behalf of all my colleagues here, I want to welcome you to the Senate Chamber. And we are already a receipt of the copies of your CV. You can choose to highlight anything you feel the Senate needs to take note of. And should you have omitted anything that you feel is of significance and consequence for this exercise, you could also highlight that. Once again, you are welcome and you can speak and address the Senate. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. The President of the Senate, the Deputy President of the Senate, Principal Officers, Distinguished Senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, uh, Senators from my states, led by Distinguished Senator Emmanuel, Distinguished Senator Yusuf Yusuf, Distinguished Senator Shaibu Isalau, and uh, let me also identify and extend my gratitude to one of the senators who is also my former boss and uh, my friend, uh, of which I serve and uh, was a consultant under one of his businesses, that is engineering, Dr. Udo Ojikalu, and uh, one or two senators that I work under them, those people are detrabalized people that I can testify before this honorable Hello Chambers. Let me also recognize the presence of uh, my state chairman and his executive. Engineer. Ladies and gentlemen. Leave, leave out your state chairman and his executive. You came along with them. Just address the Senate. With due respect, sir. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, sir. I'm very happy to be here, to be honored, with great privilege to appear before the 
distinguished senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as a ministerial nominee. Permit me also to extend my sincere gratitude to the president and the administration of Muhammad Buhari Permit me also to extend my gratitude to the President of the Senate, the Senators, for appearing before the distinguished Senators for clearance. What privileges I appreciate and I will cherish forever. Distinguished Senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, my CV is before you. All my dozier and my political antecedents is here before you. Nevertheless, let me just seize that little opportunity to also highlight a little bit about myself. My name is Engineer Sali Maman. I was born there 1958, 2nd October, in a village called Lao. Lao, local government. And I grew up in Jalingo. I started my education career in Kano. I am uh, electrical engineer by profession. I started from the scratch. I started from technical and vocational training school and graduated as an artisan, moved to technical college and graduated as a technician, moved to polytechnic and also graduated as technologist and graduated as potential engineer. I also read management course where I graduated uh, and specialized in human resources, master's degree in human resources. Uh, my working experience, I Worked with the Tribal State Government for almost 21 years and retired as Assistant Director, Stroke, Head of Design and Construction. My political antecedents include Pioneer Chairman of the Fund CPC, which now metamorphosed into APC. And uh, I also contested for Senate 2015. I lost. I was a member 2015 Presidential Campaign Council under field operation. Also a member Congress Committee that conducts congresses that produce 2015 sets in Niger State. Also a member in Kaduna State Congress Committee. I'm also a member of Buhari Support Organization. Also a returning officer 2019 presidential election, also a member National Council, National Committee for Body Support Organization, an organization Senate was we 
work together. He was our sponsor then. I am also a member of, um, let's say, sorry, a coordinator, a state coordinator, also a member of Bayari Support Organization. And those are my political incidents and dissidents. I think I will stop here. Sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President, sitting at chair. I would like to urge my colleagues. Ujina Maman is not a very good orator, but he's a good staff to do the job. Good worker. He's a good worker. He's not a very good person you want to come here and mesmerize you and tell you all kinds of stories. I've worked with him in the engineering field, and I believe. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm just trying to say because you might see him having state fright also. He's not a very good speaker. I'm addressing you, I'm trying to. Please, order. Order. Use your power. So. Sally is not somebody you come here and put questions and allow him to showcase skill of talking. This guy is a proper engineer, and I will urge my colleagues to, he has been a very good supporter. Even when I was in PDP, he used to preach for me for President Buhari. <laughs> he has been a very good supporter of President Buhari. He used to take transport from Taraba to come and see me in Abia to come and sell the candidacy of President Buhari to me. And I mean, this is 1999. I'm sure Chief T. Oji, the Senator T. Oji, also knows him very well. So, is somebody we cannot waste his time? Is somebody I'd like to urge my colleagues? I would like to urge my colleagues. So please, to allow, allow the minister, um, uh, ministerial nominee from Taraba to take a bow and go. DSP. Thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> Ovie Omo Agege, Delta Central Centuria District. Mr. President, order, I, order. I rise to align myself in so many ways with the chief whip of the Senate. Uh, Mr. President, first I want to thank Mr. President, President Muhammadu Buhari, for this nomination. And thereafter, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to Engineer Sele Maman. Uh, Mr. President, even the Bible recognizes that a laborer is entitled to his wages. I have known uh, Engineer Sele for so many years. Just as I uh, alluded, by the chief whip, this is one very loyal, very, very loyal supporter of President Muhammad Buhari. And that support did not begin today. Uh, Mr. President, I had the opportunity yesterday while chatting 
with some top people to say that the, the, the cabinet, the list of people forwarded to the Senate for confirmation for membership of the Federal Executive Council, you can actually describe it as a cabinet of true believers. Mr. President, President Muhammadu Buhari is entitled to work with the people of his choice. Elections, we are told, has consequences. He has elected to appoint Engineer Saleh as a minister. Like I said, this may not be his uh, best moment. I have interacted with him severally. We have worked together, uh, even in the uh, committee, National uh, Committee on Buari Support Group. I know that Engineer Saleh will add value to deliberations in the Federal Executive Council. And finally, Mr. President, there's so much fatigue here already. We've been on this nomination before how many days now? People are already tired. Are we not tired? We are tired. So therefore, Mr. President, I'm going to appeal, appeal that uh, we allow Engineer Saleh may be subject to comments by people from his home state to take a bow and go. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Teodoro Oji, Uchendo, Global. Your Excellency, our President in Chair, a very, very distinguished colleagues, my name is Senator T. A. Oji Uchendo. Well, what will I say? <laughs> this to align myself oh. <laughs> with what my colleagues have said. Uh, the Chief Whip mentioned my name. Uh -huh. I won't deny that. Uh -huh. I know him very well. Exactly. When I come now and say I don't know him, uh -huh. he will perform when he goes there. Exactly. DSP to approve the motion. Therefore, I will say that he should take a bow <laughs> and decide to stay or go. Thank you, sir. Senator Mohamed Ngumogoji. Thank you, Mr. President. I am Mohamed Ngumogoji, representing Gombe Central. My own is just to first associate myself with the previous speakers and thank you, Mr. President, for picking this very special professional. And going by CV as an engineer, Mr. President has made a good choice because he has come from a place that is the most inaccessible part of Nigeria. Roads leading to Jalongo from all sections of the country are very, very bad. And he's the right man, if you are lucky, maybe you go to Ministry of Works. And if you go to Ministry of Works, as somebody who knows how to live in a very inaccessible area, how do you think we will solve the problem of road network in Nigeria? Thank you. You can respond. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, distinguished senator. Uh, as a former sectional head of uh, electrical design and construction under Ministry of Works, what I used to know, when this type of issue erupt, uh, we usually come together, a team of engineers, uh, electrical engineer, structural engineer, quantity surveyor, uh, architects, sit together and now put down the problem before the before the, the the committee and now discuss also and uh, seek advice from the civil engineer who is the professional and then 
is filled. And, uh, and I believe at the end of the day, we share the, the resolution and then maybe come out with something very tangible. It has been our problem for decades, this road. It has been there. I don't know. Whether maybe we don't have good representative from the federal government, maybe this time around. But the case of our road is something very pathetic. It's something that I don't want to say much about it. I don't know why and how. And uh, that, is, that is all I can say, sir. Thank you very much. Senator Emmanuel Buacha, the Deputy Minority Leader, Senator Yusuf Abubakar Yusuf, and Senator Shaibu Yusalo. In that order, please. Thank you, Mr. President. Sitting uh, as the chair. Mr. President, very distinguished colleagues, we are in unanimous agreement to support this nominee. But let me say a few words, Mr. President uh, and Chairman. The nominee, distinguished colleagues, you see before us today is a thoroughbred prof professional. Let me slightly uh, disagree with the whip that it's not as if Engineer Maman doesn't talk. He, he doesn't blab. Number two, I want to inform us the danger with most of these people that come and talk a lot. They end up being the worst ministers. <laughs> <laughs> that is the truth. So let us apply wisdom. In addition, Mr. Chairman, this nominee has no PDP DNA. He is among the few, 20%, in the, in the APC that are co-APC members, including you, Mr. Chairman. I'm not talking of those that we donated to the APC. And most of which are seated there. And you know they are faster in making, making noise, <laughs> in a hurry to defend the APC. But the hardcore APC, we know them. Yes, like this is one of them. We know them. We know them. Like we know them. This is like one of them. A careful perusa at this resume reveals a lot of things. I know much about the nominee. In fact, he sits in the board of the Federal University of Ukari, uh, whose bill by the grace of God, we will expeditiously pass on resumption, I'm sure, in September, October. So what I'm trying to say is he is somebody that you can trust. Very consistent. Very consistent. If it comes to schooling us in the art of loyalty, he's not a political tourist. No. I am so happy. And this is what we have presented to you as a caucus. But let me say that we have also agreed as a caucus that each and every one of us should have just one question to ask him so that all of you will know that we are moving as a state. So, so. We are saying we are overruling you. Okay. Our, our, our understanding was all of you to allow him bow, provided provided you are in agreement with us. No if that is okay, if that is okay by you, yes. we are happy. But not the kind of ah that comes from our political tourists to APC. That is not what I'm saying. <laughs> so thank you, Mr. Chairman. Here is Engineer Saleh Mamma. Thank you very much. Senator Yusuf, Avoka Yusuf. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, distinguished colleagues. Uh, Engineer Saleh Mamman is one of us. He's a brother. He has done very, very well for the people of Taraba State. As you can see from his profile, he's an engineer, an astute one, electrical engineer. And in addition to that, he's an excellent organizer of events. 
organizer of resources, organizer of human resources and what of you. So he's one of us. We cannot have a better as presented before us today. However, as my other colleagues have said, yes, he, he may be a slow talker. Some of us are, but he's an excellent performer. He has done very well. His record in Taraba State Government over the years will show how, how, he's been, how he has performed very, very well. Politically, he has done very, very well. He contested, you know, to be a senator, but God did not wish him to be one. But probably God wish him to be a minister in the regime of Muhammad Buhari. But what I will say, I concur with what my senior colleague has said. But what I will urge him to do, I want to pray for him so that he does not have a slip of tongue that will put him as somebody who is not loyal to Mr. President, somebody who is not loyal to the government of Nigeria, and who is not loyal to the party. I thank you very much, my colleague. I will also urge, as agreed by the whole house, we thank you, and we want to ask him to bow and go. Thank you. <laughs> Senator Shabu Salom. Thank you, Mr. President, sitting in a chair. My distinguished colleagues, Isa Shoai Bulao, representing Karabano. Mr. Chair, I want to first start by thanking God Almighty for <laughs> this nominee. I want to thank Mr. President for finding this nominee, this loyal ANPP, CPC, and APC party loyalist to the core. Mr. President, before I go further, I want to seek and plead for your special protection and for my colleagues' protection. As I said, this nominee is my childhood friend whom we go to primary school day in, day out. He has one problem, that today, with your protection, I want him to beg for forgiveness. When we are going to primary school, Mr. Chair and my colleagues, each time we, need, we are in a class and we are given a simple arithmetic test. When I score first, after the school, he will stop on the road <laughs> and start bullying me. <laughs> yeah, he was stronger than me then. I was smallish in size, but I was a class monitor. And one of the best in the class. He is a very able and competent person. He is very, very reliable. My colleagues, I want to thank you for agreeing with Taraba Kakos that this nominee takes a bow and go. Thank you. <laughs> So that he will not beat you Mr. Again. Chairman, he did not promise that he will never in his life again terrorize me. <laughs> I seek your protection, Mr. President. Thank you, my colleague. <laughs> Thank you very much, distinguished colleagues. Is it the wish of the Senate that he takes a bow and go? Yes. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The eyes have take about.
the Senate has screened Engineer Sally Marman from Taraba State, the electrical engineer expert has a special interest in how to make sure Nigerian roads are all motorable. He is a professional to the core, just like most of the senators who know him just described. Well, he retired as uh, an assistant director from the Taraba State Government. In 2015, he contested for the Senate, but did not make it. Engineer Saleh says he is so worried about the state of some roads in the country, especially roads that link that link the rural and urban centers. He said he has wealth of knowledge to contribute in making sure that Nigerian roads become more durable and then are sustained. In fact, he 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 says he's had experience when he works was working with the Minister of How it Works. He has the technical know-how to ensure that any road construction must be one that will be sustained and durable.